uh, hello ayush uh, i have some question apart from this academic stuff can you shed some light on the immunization process like should we get all the vaccines from india or from usc is it covered in the health insurance or like if you have already got the vaccines is the titer test covered in the health insurance like all okay. the uh, like permutation and combinations you, you can think of can you like tell tell that i'll be honest i have not done much research uh, amal was sharing some screenshots on the group i have reached out of to a few people over here so that you know they can come here and talk to us i'm just waiting for the reply so that i have a proper i mean i don't want to give a wrong information here but one thing which i can say is vaccination is covered in the health insurance and vaccination is free for everybody in us okay so the moment you land you can just go to your nearest center and get pfizer moderna or johnson and johnson whichever is available i have heard like, few people say that vaccinations which are approved by who will only be accepted by us so understand there are two things nobody is stopping you from entering us if you don't have a vaccination what people are saying it is a requirement it is a requirement to enter the campus so let's say you come to us you are not vaccinated you should get vaccinated before you start going to campus both for our good and for others also coming to second point about immunization i mean apart from covid what i personally did i did not have time to get all the tests done but i was pretty sure i got all the vaccination done as per the indian rules in my childhood so i went to the doctor my personal general doctor he gave me some random dates the approximate date when a child should get a vaccination he wrote that on that uh, pdf and he signed it and i was approved from my what do you call it hsr record I also did take a booster shot for chicken pox because I had never got a chicken pox before. So I would say for that perspective talk to your physician the doctor that you generally visit. For covid reaching out to the covid helpline would be a better option. I know they are replying very late because they are bombarded with so many emails. But if by chance you don't get a vaccine in India come here and take it but if you are getting vaccine in India which is I know it's impossible right now considering the current situation. just try to be safe and you know don't go out much and keep yourself uh, protected so that you don't have land up in problem over here right I, right thank you so much yeah. yeah so in summary if you are getting vaccinated take it because it is for your good and for people around you it is good for both of us everybody of us but because the current situation i know in india you don't have vaccines available whatever news is saying is not 100% true i am aware about it so just try to be as covered as i mean mask and whatever things face shield you can wear in your journey just do that and the moment you land just quarantine for a few days like 10 15 days and go for the first shot that is available okay cool yeah got it thanks a lot hey yes one second uh, raga anything that i forgot what are you planning for vaccination uh... yeah for vaccination for covid vaccination i have taken my first dose because uh, which one shot. i went for covid shield but the thing is like uh, i wanted to be immune before getting into the flight so that's why i chose for it but yeah if you think that uh, you won't be able to complete your uh, the second dose of vaccination because there's a gap between two so you can go for pfizer or moderna when you go to us in fall other than that uh, whatever is required on the my shr vaccinization regarding that chicken pox and mmr front i think if you have taken them before then just go for the titer test and if you haven't then uh, you can get get them vaccinated at your nearest immunization center and please uh, give a gap of at least a week between all the vaccination because they have some effect so you might feel a little dizzy or nauseous something like that so i had some experience that's why i am uh, suggesting you to just keep a back a, a gap of a week between all of them mm-hmm. just to add my doctor was uh, you know agreeing to sign on that paper because i have been going him to the same doctor since my childhood so he knew he had given me the vaccination just the dates were not uh, cleared because he did not have in his records so if you have if you're sure you have not taken some vaccination or some dose make sure to take it don't just get a signature on the pdf like that yep 
who's next hey Would ayush like uh, raghav uh, one question one follow up question on that is that mmr and all those documentation required like is it compulsory to have that document before we reach us or is that something that can be done uh, post we reach la uh mmr so i mean all I those few, yeah i know a few people who got uh, those vaccinations in la but uh, i don't know uh, which health plan was covering it for them uh, whether it was a usc one or they they went for a private one but if you can uh, if you can get vaccinated in india itself then it would be great or just have a titer test if you have taken one in your childhood got it i mean they are not going to check that before uh, like while we are joining right no no like no, before they, we... that isn't a requirement that's only a immunization requirement by usc so nothing of yeah. that sort with the port of immigration just that once you upload all the documents on your myhsr portal it should be a compliant status check that's it got it come on thanks perfect uh next uh, i think yeah pranjali yeah hi ayush uh, i had seen your previous videos on on campus jobs and internships but uh, could you please elaborate more on the skill set or some of the like the basic or the common skills that are required to get an on campus job and if there are some of the jobs that require uh, the in- interview process so how does the uh interviews are conducted or, or like what are the rounds that are there in it it's a very broad question because all the positions have different criteria okay uh, i would be actually the video that i'm making i will be sharing my screen and stuff and showing a few job posting right now you don't have access to connect sc because you have not yeah, registered yeah, for the course have... yeah, so yeah, okay. yeah i will be sharing my screen in that video and going through a few sample job uh, what do you call it posting I okay. think that should answer the question, or if not, let's wait for the next AMA. Okay, yeah, that would be great. Thank you. And uh, next, uh, Nish- uh, Kajal, I think you are done. Nishita. Um, actually, I had another question. I wish. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so this question is like, I'm actually wondering right now whether to switch from my AI specialization, um, back to MSc as general. more or less because there are there is one extra course i'll have to take so um i know that in summer people generally lean on an internship but is it wise to take up an internship as well as a four credit course in summers say if i'm familiar it's with not pos- i think it i think it's not possible that you can take both that is what i'm aware about you either have to work full time that is 40 hours mm-hmm. that is an internship or you have to take a course both cannot be clubbed together correct raga Yeah I think we cannot club both point number okay. one point number two if you are in general you can still take a few courses from other departments so if you go to your curriculum they have mentioned how many courses can be taken from a different right college yes or you know from the same team and other stuff they are like for general it's very open i mean you don't have a set set of courses like you have for cn or ai so that should be good right. and uh, if you want to move or if you don't want to move it all depends i think right now you cannot change get your first semester done and then just drop a mail to the advisors they will change if you want to change got got it okay and if if say i wanted to pursue the same scenario in fall semester so internship plus um, four unit course with an rcl is that possible no no in summer no, one second uh, what did you say the in same summer? scenario in the fall semester fall semester or spring either uh for the last fall and the last spring right not the first one of course yes the last yeah one. so last fall i have heard people do that but spring mm-hmm. again i have not seen anybody do that so ideally you should be able to do but if i were at your shoes i would drop a mail to the career advisors for a verification sure okay thank you so much definitely fall is possible because i've seen people do that i am not just mm-hmm. sure about the spring thing if even company is higher or not sure sure okay thanks uh yeah So can we take more than eight units in a single semester, no. like three no. courses? No. So is it not allowed, or is it not possible for uh, from our side? Uh, it will not be counted towards the degree, is what I know. And 
Yeah, I, I think it will not be counted towards the degree. You can consider it is not allowed that way. Yeah, recently so they the prohibited. Right? Yeah. Karago. Recently they prohibited that. Like, yeah, students can't take more than two courses. Okay, so right now. Trust me, it uh, is not worth it. it. Trust me, it is not worth it. The two courses are already so heavy. Don't do that. So right now, because I'm enrolled in AI, so the uh, requirement is for eight courses. So if I take the mm-hmm. first semester online and I take only one course because mm-hmm. it might be yeah. taking one time right now, so yeah. I will have to take three courses in either the next spring or fall, or would I will have to take one in the summer? How will that work out? So if you are doing all online, yeah. If you are doing all online, any which within summer you have to take a course because you can't apply for a OPT, a CPT. So yeah, but I think Raghav, you took two courses online, right? How was your experience? AI and C algo. Yeah, they they were both doable. Like I I didn't feel anything that uh, it was getting a bit hectic. And you were working also, right? So yeah. It is possible. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, it is possible. It, it is doable. I won't. I won't recommend it though. But yeah, on a case to case basis, like if you are willing to do that, put the effort, so you can do that. So in the summer, are all the courses available? I think the choice will be limited, right? Yes, it's, it's limited. Yeah. So if you go to classes. dot usc, you can see that we have very less options for summer. What do you call it? Summer. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, one more thing for the uh, immunization reports. If I don't get a tighter test because right now I don't want to travel to any clinic uh, in my area because of the lockdown and stuff. So if I don't get a tighter test and uh, I don't have my childhood records right now with me. So But have you I taken enter... the vaccine? Have you taken the vaccination? Are you aware about that? Most probably yes, because it's a requirement in India, right? Correct. So you can request your doctor, and if he if he's willing to sign on that PDF, it should be fine. Otherwise, if I don't even, if I don't even take the PDF, then no, that is that is required. Doctor. That is required. That is required. Because so, in your HSR portal, it will be not compliant, and that will be an issue later on. So they can just do that uh, in the campus itself, right? they can do oh. the test and the paper itself they will not send me back for the patient again i am not aware about it i would i just let me give you an email id yes you can check with them i think that is the best option otherwise you would not want to go back just for a stupid test yeah yeah so i think you can just check with the okay. health department i have not seen anybody take this risk so i don't know to be honest or agar any idea about this About what? That we can take the test in India. Uh, test here. Like I don't upload any records or anything like that, and I directly go to the university. They can do the test and provide me vaccinations there. Yeah, I, yeah. They they are quite accommodating. You can email them that you are in this situation, and I think they'll they'll accommodate you. But definitely drop a mail and keep a you know record with the mail and you know email with you, just to be on a safer side. Hmm. So what I'm just trying to say is, on the HSR portal, you should have all this stuff compliant. Okay, this is your yeah. HSR portal. You should have this compliant. But I would, if I were in your shoes, I would just mail them. I think there is a requirement for three weeks, right? We have three weeks time uh, after we reach there to comply with these things. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure. I have not. So they are giving. That. I read on this side. They are giving three weeks time for that. So they are giving three weeks time, so that must be done there, right? Yeah, then it's yeah. fine. That is possible. That is how how the people who went to LA without a few tests completed got their immunization done or tighter done at US itself. So you have time until you reach there. That's a good thing. I didn't know that. Yeah. I will try to get it here. The situation improves, but it's nice to know it's there an option there. Yep. Uh, Thanks. Uh, yeah, hi Ayush. Uh, you mentioned that we can't take more than two courses in one semester. Yeah. But like, I know some of my seniors who who joined in fall, but they completed their degree within uh three semesters. So how does that work out? So if you three can't semesters. take more than two courses, were they in twenty eight unit? Twenty eight unit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the general one. Four one four. That is how much? Four one four. 
uh, sorry 8 1 8 and 4 and 8 20 units in the first year and yeah you can do if you don't do an internship in summer no no al- along with an internship so uh, yeah did this rule recently change because like uh, i think we from what we i know i told we were told the same thing in our in- introduction session the one that we had before the college starts so you will have three sessions with the academic advisors before the college starts okay. and that is what they told us we cannot take more than two courses any idea raghav i am mean, here for the first time nope yep. uh just uh, check with them just check with them i mean might be the rules were different before just check with them if you are in touch with them and let me know i mean it will be a strange thing to be honest yeah yeah, yeah. sure uh i'll check yeah i have one more follow up question to raghav so yeah. since you have taken already uh, already taken your first dose of covid shield there are you planning to take your yeah. second dose as well in india i hope so that they relax the gap between two doses so i might be able to do that otherwise uh, i think the two doses of covid shield are the same and any which ways it will require us to be getting uh get vaccinated in another year or so so for now i am at least sure that i am 50 or 60% immune and uh, when i go <laughs> yeah. to us then i'll i'll get with the pfizer and all modern after yeah. after yeah, some yeah. the reason i'm uh, yeah. the reason i'm asking this is because i'm in the same boat as yours even i took my first dose before they extended the gap to 84 days so i just wanted yeah. to make sure if there's any exception to that rule and you can somehow bypass that and get a second dose there 